motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. Every bike has parts that are made elsewhere, as far as I know, except for maybe a Chinese bike. They're probably all made, 100% made in China. But as far as all these other brands, I'm pretty sure you're getting a bike that is a mutt. Yeah, I've never been on this trail. Never heard of this trail. It's taken me some places, but I did not really expect. I can kind of tell by looking at the map, but I just glanced at it. I can definitely tell that I can tie back in. I'm gonna loop back around and get to my truck. This is gonna be a pretty long ride, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too long. trails, the thing about them is, like, you get way deep down in here, and you get to something really gnarly, sometimes you have to make a choice. Do you just keep pushing ahead when you're completely exhausted, or who knows your circumstance? You could have had your bike partially broken down, or any number of things could have happened up to that point. But sometimes when you're really deep back into these trails, you have to make a choice to either turn around or keep pushing ahead, which is a pretty tough decision to have to make, especially if you don't think you have the skill level to keep going forward, because then you have to make the choice to turn back. And oftentimes that means you have to ride into night why I always recommend to have some basic supplies in your pack. At least some kind of headlamp. I have a headlamp and a GoPro mount. What was I going to say? I have a GoPro mount on the top of my helmet. And I use that with my light. So it's, it's enough to get me by. It's like 500... What is it, 500 lumens or something like that? Just not very much, but it'll get me by. Generally speaking, I've, I've been riding bikes that have a headlight anyways, but this beast does not have one. come out of my hiding for this ride and actually attempted to send an invite out. I'll be doing that more. I'm gonna, on my next ride, I will be inviting more people. But it seems like when I'm experiencing um, turmoil, I just, in the words of Ricky Carmichael, his words were, sometimes I'm tired of all that is human. It's crazy bushwhacking. And it's not that I am that. I kind of don't want to socialize when I'm out here getting my therapy sometimes. Man, you have to just commit. Push your way through these bushes, otherwise you go off the edge. This is a steep edge right here. I'd probably ride that creek. There's a creek at the bottom here. If I fell, I could probably ride the creek down. Probably. Or I could just... I could 
could just beg a Bigfoot to take care of me for a while back in here. Oh yeah, see if I could, if I would have fallen, I could ride that creek and it would have led straight to here. That's another thing I'm always thinking about. What things could I do to help that scenario go in my favor? A side hill action on this trail. Those branches look like nothing on camera, but they don't feel very good. Sometimes they flat out stop you. get steep and wide open on this bike I just have no worries as long as I don't screw up and get all sideways or something percent sure I'm going the right way still. I'd say that's pretty high percentage. One thing about Idaho City, if you feel like you've gone too deep, a lot of times you can point your bike towards <clears throat> Highway 21 and just ride the highway.
33 miles in. Feels like a lot longer. Took a little break just now. It's pretty hot out here, so I've burned about 2,300 calories. I've taken in about 700. My pancake and egg breakfast. Full disclosure, I've eaten that every day just about for the last, oh, eight months. Pancakes and eggs are like perfect. It's what I, I just love it. Get protein, carbs, put a little 100% maple syrup on there. You get your natural sugar. Since I'm going green, I've, uh, I've got an electric bike now. This is KTM's electric 450 XDF. I feel bad even saying that because Vegas Romaniac already did a video about this. So it's kind of stealing his idea. So for there, I don't want to take 660 for too long. That'd be a bad day. This bike gets really good gas mileage, but I don't think it gets that great a gas mileage. It's one beautiful thing about riding a four-stroke is the fuel economy, which would be even better as far as range goes if they would just put bigger tanks on them. I have no idea why these manufacturers are like, well, it's a four-stroke, so let's put a smaller tank on it than, than our two-stroke models. Why not just keep the same tank? That way you get more range. There's lots of people like me out there who like to ride more than uh, what the standard range is. Granted, there are manufacturers that uh, hook you up in that regard. But wouldn't it be better if it was that way stock? So there's a single track that just dropped off to my right. There's more stuff going off to my left. But I think I wanted to stay that right. Oh, geez, that just shanked me. I guess I should stop and check my map. God bless America. So on this ride, I'm kind of, I'm pretty far out here, but I noticed that my my tank has a lot of fuel in it still. just how far this bike will go. This trail is just directionally challenged is what it is. These, these uh, bushwhacking adventures are a little bit more brutal right now because everything's so dry. It's like getting hit with a bunch of daggers. It's not very nice not very nice at all. I have to navigate so much on the trail that it doesn't matter what I'm talking about. I just gotta get so distracted. There could be a bear right next to me at, at times about to have me for dinner and I would be completely oblivious. The unknown trail. Going into the unknown on the unknown trail. On the bushwhacking adventure.
believe the message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, 